in James Gunn's Superman. So look, see, this is how you know there's no One Piece. I'm over here talking about like all this other shit. <laughs> so in James Gunn's Superman, the one that's gonna come out in 2025, mm -hmm. it is now confirmed that we're gonna get Crypto the Super Dog. I saw that, yeah. And and the reason why is because James Gunn, like he he had a stray. He like found a stray dog that like wasn't around humans, like didn't didn't no humans you know so it was like kind of like a feral cat mm. right it was just a dog mm -hmm. and like dealing with it he said I, i'm pretty sure he said it like ate his laptop oh, really? it ate his laptop funny. so dealing with that imagine that but like it's a super dog like it's it's a kryptonian dog i love crypto like back when the cartoon uh, was crypto, out when i was a kid super Such dog. A good show. he's gonna be confirmed in the in like the live action series of movies so are we getting a new superman then yes not henry cavill no oh do we yeah, know who oh, it I, is I'm, yes we do who uh i don't know off the top of my head does not seem anybody big um i have also seen him in the suit it looks terrible I gotta look <laughs> yep um i mean i'm gonna be completely honest uh, James david Gunn. david corn sweat Corn oh wait, this corn swim. Uh, corn yeah, sweat. yeah, that would be it. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to put it up on screen. Mm -hmm. that first one. That first one on the top left. Oh, I've seen that. He's got the hair for it. I mean, yeah, he's got the hair for it, but like, dude, the suit looks fucking terrible. The suit looks kind of baggy on him. Nah, yeah. he's he's just mad. Emery's just mad that it's not tighter around the junk. He's just a big Deadpool fan. No. No. Okay, oh, you're well, not yeah. a big Deadpool fan? Yes, but like, I'm, I'm a huge Henry Cavill fan. Yeah, I do not like that costume. Yeah. Uh -uh. It doesn't really look like it. It looks like a. It looks like they ordered it on, like, Wish. And, like, dude, I'm sorry. That, you got big shoes to fill, man. Henry Cavill was our shit. Oh, he was a mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. Superman, honestly. And I still think, like, I mean, I know Man of Steel was not the best movie, but I liked it. I oh, I loved it. I don't give a fuck what like, anybody said. There's so many problems with it, for sure. But, like, personally, I just think it was a good movie. Like, it was fun. The performance of that Superman mm -hmm. in that movie yeah. was excellent. Yeah, very, very One good. of the best. Everything after that was kind of dog shit. You know what my favorite like line in that is when uh when he just pulls up out of nowhere and he just runs zod through the ground and he's like you think you can threaten my mother and he's throws oh him through, like, i forgot station. about that oh, i was like oh yeah no this see this is a this is a pissed off superman yeah man like that was a they had such a good start to superman and like kind of like the dc universe mm -hmm. the movies what the fuck happened I don't know, like, when it's... Batman vs. Really... Superman. I fucking hate that movie. That movie is so bad. It's that so unbelievably bad. just to cater to comic book fans. And they did a terrible... And they did a terrible fucking job. They mm. tried to cram the entire five, five like, yep. year conflict into one movie. Yeah. Oh. That was under four hours. Dude, I can't... Without fully developing the Justice League. Like, yeah. what the fuck was that? It was just so backwards. Like, I remember being so excited for that movie because the, the trailers were really good. I was mm -hmm. excited as hell. I go into the movies to watch it, and I remember thinking, okay, like, well, they can't fuck this up. Like, everything I've seen so far looks like they're going to do a really good job. And I don't even remember what the three things were, but I was mentally giving this movie, like, strikes. I was like, ooh, that's not good. Like, that's, 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 <laughs> okay, that's strike one. That's a really bad. It had it had to be something with the fucking the video production. I want to say no, goes, actually don't you give me no, that shit, bro. That is the first thing that ever to piss you when I no when I watch things for the first time I don't look at the video production okay. or editing. <laughs> it, I promise you, I can I can separate that part of my brain. Okay. Um, I think one of the strikes was I remember when they did the the backstory for Batman and he was like in the well. I mm -hmm. think. I am correct me if I'm wrong, but was there a scene where like all the bats show up? He was and dreaming. And he was like floating up yes, like that. It was a dream. Yeah, I thought that was cheesy as fuck and I didn't like that in the slightest. Okay. I thought that I thought that was really stupid. I don't remember what the other strikes were, but one of them was probably what they did with Doomsday. Oh no. The other strike was the Martha fucking 
Read the reason they stopped fighting. Why did you say that name? It was my mom. <laughs> no, he didn't say it. <laughs> Lois did. That's his mother's name. Stupid. It's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb as fuck. And they only made them stop fighting so they could go and fight Doomsday, who they spoiled in the trailers. The WV, the WP yeah. universe does a better job. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to say it like the DC movie universe does a horrible job with holding the stakes for big like big conflicts. Marvel does great. The WB universe did better than the DC movie universe. I'm not saying it was amazing. It it was it was good. I think we give them another 20 years just reset, let everybody forget about it, come back and be the new MCU. So okay, so here's what the issue w with that like uh, and this is what i've heard like from Zack snyder who directed batman vs superman give us a nightwing movie oh my god please please <laughs> or they, just grayson they were um they were he was trying to build up like this was supposed to be a setup movie mm -hmm. the batman versus superman okay but it did so terrible they fired him and then we got the super duper dog shit at Justice League movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, oh my god, I have seen that a bunch of times. It is a rolling pile of crap. Why do you keep watching it a bunch of times? No, 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 I no, no, fucking not... love the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said you like that movie. There's no, the no, no, Snyder no. Cut version. The Snyder oh, cut. right, 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 right. That one was cool. Snyder Cut, that I have cool. seen two times the amount of times because I think that one is fucking phenomenal. Y'all ever watch a movie and like, Y'all watch it, not because it's good, but because it's so bad. Like, you sit there and yes. you laugh, or you're like, wait, 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 the, this scene's coming up. And then y'all watch it, and you laugh, and then yeah. you go back to what yeah, you were Deadpool. doing. Watch it. All right. Deadpool 3? Excuse me? I will <laughs> fucking flip this table. You guys want to see one that's well. actually kind of funny? You know what? I, I will go back to watch because I know it's terrible, and there's actually parts of it that have been ruined further for me. Suicide Squad. What? Really? Bro, it's so bad. <laughs> the original it's one. So the bad. Yeah, the first it's one. So the first bad. one. The second one's good. That, <clears throat> <laughs> that movie is terrible. It is. The first one's so bad. The first it really one's so good. Is. No. Oh, you mean when they assemble the heist team? Yeah. How dare you? Dude, How also. You? No, 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 no. Mm. You think that's bad. Martine has pointed out visual, like, camera panel panning. That is stupid. Dog shit. It's so bad. It's one of the worst edited movies I've uh -huh. seen in a long time. Like you'll be like you'll have a moment where they're like pointing at like Will Smith and then they'll pan to Margot Robbie, but like Will Smith's just in the fucking background, like facing the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Well the problem is like they they're doing a scene, like a back and forth scene of them talking, right? <laughs> like the you know, the shot, reverse shot. Mm -hmm. But then they cut to a scene of them all as a group walking into a different room but continuing the conversation that they were having in like the shot before and like that makes no fucking like sense because nobody else was standing around they were like they're, yeah. I think I know which scene you're talking about yeah that's that scene yeah because like, it was hard to follow movie. right yeah, I yeah. hard to follow is yeah, because I was like wait I thought they were over there talking and now they're walking over I think I know what you're it is a poorly edited movie Thanks. and they you just shattered my little like should have never released that in theaters the way it was <laughs> they never should have released it in theaters. Horrible. God damn. Now I have to go back and watch it because now I want to like actually see it. That's one of those that I would actually go back and watch just to find more because I probably didn't find enough. The Joker was terrible. Really? I kind of like the him. first one. I no 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 no. Jared Leto. I'm Jared Leto in there. Oh, fuck that. Yeah no yeah. I'm telling you. He also ruins it for me. There was... uh, 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 like his, <laughs> fucking, his laugh is so bad. <laughs> Oh, Damn. He method acted for that shit. Are you serious? That was not good. <laughs> but okay, okay. You know what's funny? Like, so ironically enough, they they used him again in the Snyder cut. Yeah. Oh, he did way. He was like fucking disturbing in that one. He he actually was like a creepy Joker. Uh huh. He wasn't like a ha ha. Okay. I'm having fun. Like he straight up told Batman he was like, you can't kill me. Otherwise, who's gonna give you a reach around at night? He said that? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Damn. This is still my least favorite version of Joker. Oh, yeah. I, I like the, I'm saying, there's, I, I would say... Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Yeah, for real. The only Go. really good thing to come out of that fucking movie, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Yes. She did kill it. Yeah, she was I really I mean, good literally, movie. that's, she was like the face of it. Everyone yeah. knows that. Yeah. I mean, how many of the other ones got their own fucking spinoff spin movie? movie? Yeah. Well, also, after that, Harley Quinn 
like jumped up even more. Oh yeah, no, Harley Quinn stocks went through like the roof. She got she got a fucking like she got a, a comic book. She got a Harley and Friends comic mm-hmm. book. She got a TV, got a TV show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her merch went crazy. Yep. Mm-hmm. No, honestly, like the casting choice was really good for uh, like having Margot Robbie. I mm-hmm. think she was a fantastic choice. Uh, she was an anime only character. Have you guys seen Lady Gaga as? It was in the new. I'm not watching that movie. It was so like. It, it didn't see, happen. when Lady Gaga acts, it's 50 50. Either it's yeah. amazing it's shit. or it's shit. I think it depends on her roles. I don't think it's exactly her herself. No, no, I don't right. think it's her. I agree. I'm not. I'm not saying it is. Yeah. They need to get but good direction. In everything that I've seen her in, either she is incredible, and then like she deserves all the awards, or she shouldn't have made the movie. Like um, House of Gucci. How dare you? <laughs> I, I Dude, if it. you can't even commit to the fucking accent, the full movie. Don't do it. <laughs> I think it had to depend on how she was feeling in a sense of like, how the scene was. was. Oh, man, I was not Go feeling to... doing the accent in that scene. You need to keep it consistent. Accent. Meanwhile, you got Margot Robbie who like can commit to a fucking Bronx fucking accent. Margot Robbie can. I don't think I've seen anything that I didn't like. She was, well, I mean, like, I don't think I've seen yeah, her. Yeah, we ain't seen anything that we didn't like on her. She didn't like Barbie. Huh? I didn't like Barbie. I didn't. I didn't Barbie. like how fucking male versus female politically charged it was. Oh, I didn't. I didn't like the narrative of it was just boy undertones. bad, girl better. It was undertones. Overall, it was just about just being true to yourself. Is it like a women empowerment? It is. Movie? It is. The undertones, yes. Like I'm not even gonna deny it. Undertones, yes. It's very like it's go a, woman. It is blatant. But like the base, the base of the story, it was very much just be true to yourself. That's all. That literally was just the base. Like the overall of the story was just be true to yourself. But the undertones, yes. It's like go women. Men suck. In but Barbie other, yeah. Land, women run it, and they come out of Barbie Land, and men the run the world. And it. Barbie's like, what the fuck? Why do men run the world? No, like she didn't. She didn't do that. Well, she was. Even just then, questioning like, stuff. I'm just gonna say, like, that kind of makes sense, though. Like, not like the Barbie world. Like, Barbie is geared for girls, right? Like, that's kind of what it is. And then going into like the real world, it really is like male dominated, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And I think like that's like it makes sense that she would be like, what the fuck? Like, cause she's completely out of her element. I I haven't seen the movie. No, but the, uh, Ken becomes the bad guy. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah. you realize he like. Yeah. Because oh, he's from the Barbie men. world, and then he comes to the me- uh, the world where men oh, are wow. in power. Cool. And he's like, men, men had to get to this. This is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, that's oh god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. See, like they could have. I feel like they made it too political. Like it could have been a real fun story with like the comical, cartoonish bad guy of Ken, but it was just a little too like male versus female. Yeah, yeah it can be a very touchy subject. I, it, I can understand why. I don't think they need to do that for something like Barbie because yeah. it's for kids. Exactly. Like, exactly. That's supposed to be a kids like industry. Like why yeah. do you why are you pushing political stuff onto children? Yeah, like that's supposed inevitably, to be kids. even if they were making the movie for adults, the fact that you're slapping Barbie as like the title, it's you're gonna, gonna market it to kids. It's for children. No, like yeah. I didn't I didn't think that was cool. And the, and there were parents who like took their children there to see the movie and then were angry and left because it was not what they were expecting. Yeah, because they, they felt it was a little too political for children. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I still gotta get around to watching that one. Real quick. I, I, again, that, that's the only reason why. Her performance in it was phenomenal. Oh yeah, she was great as Barbie. Yeah. Uh, she looked Everything. great. My, my issue with the, um, the Joaquin Phoenix Jokers is the I'm a comic book nerd, so the inaccuracies mm-hmm. drive me up the fucking wall. I I 100% agree actually with you and I I get that. I only liked those movies or at least the first one cuz I haven't seen the second one nor will I. <laughs> uh I loved the first one because it was like uh a, a movie specifically just exploring his character. I I was never even remotely considering this movie being a part of like the comic book world mm-hmm. or like the DC universe. I saw no tie-in with Batman. I saw no Easter eggs or references to the other DC characters and villains. Like, no, this is literally just like a biopic about the Joker in a different light. And it was just like a drama, like a dark drama. And I was like, that's kind of cool. It's different. I didn't really want uh, 
like a origin story of the Joker, the way we've gotten with Batman, Superman, everyone else, like not what I wanted. I just wanted this. Like it was a different take on it and I thought that was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, if it was meant to be something that was supposed to tie into the DC universe and all the other movies, then yeah, no, it's not good at all. As a standalone film, it's... As a standalone film, I think it's really, really good. But if you eliminate everything outside of that. Did you like um, the Batman Robert Pattinson? Yes, I loved it, actually. I fucking love you. It's such a good movie. It's, I love you it's so much. a little long. It's It could have been trimmed down. I think yeah. the beginning drags a tad bit. But when it gets into it, I think it's a fucking phenomenal. Would you say that's like comic book accurate? Extremely. Have you watched the Penguin? So, no, but my friend last night, mm. one of the guys that came out of the house, he recommended it. He's like, dude, the Penguin is actually really, really good. Because it's the Penguin from that. <clears throat> oh, it's from the movie. Yeah. That guy. Okay. Yeah. It's, I'll, I'll like event, it it's like events like after that movie. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll check it out. He was talking uh, really good praise about that the show. And the, I mean, the actor who plays it, it's... Um, Bullseye from the Daredevil movie. Oh, bruh. The fucking thing on his, on his head. The Latino guy. I think so. No, is he? I don't know. Yes, it is. Trust me. I, I have, like, because people don't. It is uh, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Mm-hmm. Like, you see Colin Farrell and you're like, oh, okay. And then you see the penguin and you're like, that is what? <laughs> right? But that's 100%. That's Bullseye. Just imagine him with a bald, uh, bald head. That's Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I just saw Jonah Hill randomly. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, 